This is Andrew for Geek News Central. One of the challenges facing most people when setting up a smart home system is that typically there's a hub. This is the Samsung SmartThings hub that needs to be located somewhere near the centre of the property in order to give the maximum wireless coverage for the devices that are part of the system. This is typically what we find in the centre of a house. We have electrical sockets, but no network sockets. And as you see here, the hub needs a network connection. So how do we fix this? Well, the easiest way, in my opinion, is to use power line networking, which is also known as home plug. Effectively, it uses the electrical mains to transmit the networking signals. This is a, a typical power line networking adapter. Usually they come in pairs. One of these devices will be plugged into an electrical socket near the router. You then connect the router and the power line adapter with the network cable. Um, and then at the other end where you want to have your equipment, you have the other pair. So we'll just plug that one in. I'm just going to plug in the network cable on the bottom. And then we can simply turn it on. We'll see the different lights coming on. One of the benefits of this particular adapter is that it has a pass-through socket, but in this instance we're just going to use the, the one here to keep it nice and uncluttered. If we then plug the network socket in, and we can also plug the cable in here, that's it. Turn everything on, and you'll already see here that we've got activity and the lights, hopefully on this socket here, will turn to green from the blue, indicating that everything's all hooked up. So the benefit of this is that we can have our hub close to the centre of the house. We've still got networking connectivity over the mains. There's no need to, to wire uh, networking cables or Cat5 throughout the building. Uh, it's a very easy to use and straightforward solution. There are a range, as I said, there are a range of manufacturers. I like Devolo. Um, I use that in my house um, because basically I've never had any issues with it. It's broadly plug and play. It is one of the more expensive offerings, so you can find cheaper. But as ever, you pay your money and you take your chances. That's Andrew for Geek News Central, showing what I think is the best way to set up a hub for a smart home system.